guys, in this video I forced myself to try 10 healthy habits every day for a week. The habits included waking up at a consistent time each morning, not going on my phone 30 minutes after waking up, making my bed each morning, movement, taking cold showers, drinking two liters of water each day, meditation, journaling, cleaning for 10 minutes each day, and reading before bed each night. I decided to set my alarm for seven o'clock each morning and then I'd put on a 30 minute timer to show that I was off my phone. So I just finished working out and now I'm actually going to be taking a cold shower. I'm going to be taking them all week because apparently they have health benefits. I think they help with like soreness and irritated skin and like inflammation and a bunch of other stuff. But I've never taken a cold shower, at least not willingly. So this is, this is not going to be a good time. It's so cold. It's like, it's basically like jumping into a lake in the morning. I don't know why anybody does this willingly. I might have a heart attack. I'm getting used to it. <laughs> I decided to set my timer for 10 minutes to keep track of how long I was cleaning for. so I just did some cleaning. It was only supposed to be 10 minutes of cleaning, but I decided to go a little bit longer because my room was disgusting. It was just a disaster. So I spent some extra time just to make sure everything was like clean and nice. Um, because whenever like my room is dirty, I get like, I'm not as productive almost. Like I just don't feel as on top of things. So I'm glad I spent a little bit extra time doing that. Um, I have my water here. It's, I'm supposed to drink like two of these a day and I've not made much progress yet, but we'll get there. And I was going to do some meditation before I left because I have to go clean an Airbnb, but I'm leaving in like less than 10 minutes. So kind of defeats the point of meditating if I've just rushed through it. So I'm just going to wait until I get back and do it then. And hopefully it'll go well because I honestly cannot remember the last time I meditated. And it's like not something that I normally do. So hopefully it'll go well. So I finished meditating and I don't really know what to think. Like it was good, but basically I just started, like my thoughts were just wandering the whole time. So I didn't get relaxed. And like half the time, I don't even know what they mean. Like they're like, like expand your focus to the room around you. And it's like, what does that mean? So I don't know. I don't know if I'll keep this habit like after I don't, I'm done filming, but I'll give it more time because I have to do this all week. Um, but now that I'm done with the meditation portion, I think I'm going to actually journal because I actually got a new journal today for this very video and I'm excited to use it because I can't stop myself from buying journals and when I ever get one, I'm very excited. So it is super humid today. It's um, I think it's like the most humid day I've had this summer, which is saying something because it's really humid here. But yeah, I apologize for my hair because I've seen it in some of the videos and it's, it's wild. So it's, 
I think it's almost 10, so I'm going to read this book. I started it at the beach the other day. Sorry if I'm talking kind of soft too. My mom's asleep in the other room. But anyway, I was I started this at the beach, so I'm not very far into it, but it's really gory. Like the first chapter, I was like, oh my gosh. But it's really interesting, so I'm gonna keep reading it because I'm intrigued now. But yeah, I'm gonna just do that and then head to bed. Just like yesterday, I woke up at 7 and then I put my 30 minute timer on for working out and staying off my phone. Out, which means it's time for a cold shower and I think the key is not to think about it so I'm not even gonna think about it this is a hot shower basically this isn't gonna be fun though okay it's actually not as bad as yesterday it's still cold though you just have to breathe through it guys so I am back I've been gone all day and it's like I think it's four by now so I figured that now that I'm back I'm gonna do my meditation because I haven't done it today and I think yesterday I did it about the same time so I'm gonna stick with that kind of schedule and um, also sorry if you can't hear me very well my fan is on in the background because it's really hot today we don't have air conditioning so I've got to do that um, also I think I'm gonna find a different video um, to do the meditation my dog's mad at me that she's in here but Anyway, I'm gonna do a different video than I did yesterday because the one yesterday was okay, but it wasn't my favorite, so I'm gonna kind of see if there's a different one that I can do. And also, final thing, I'm on my second liter of water, which is great because yesterday I did not get to the second liter till like nighttime, so I'm doing a lot better with that. Hey guys, so I just finished the meditation and it was actually a lot better than the one yesterday. It was actually like, Pretty relaxing and enjoyable end up doing a like it was just a five minute one it was a relaxation like focused type of one and I liked it so um, that's good it was better than the one yesterday so I think I'll use this video or maybe like something from this channel for the next like the coming ones but anyway I think I'm gonna um, grab some dinner because I'm starving and then do some journaling It's almost 10 now and I'm gonna start reading and then go to bed. Um, I'm gonna go to bed a little bit earlier than normal tonight just because I don't know if I'm getting sick or if I'm just like having really bad allergies this evening but like I it has not been a fun time. I'm really hoping it's not me actually getting sick. I was outside a lot so maybe it is allergies um, but I'm gonna go to bed early just to keep up with that. It would be kind of funny if I did get sick in a like health habits video would be really ironic. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna be reading my Sherlock Holmes book, which I feel like I've been reading this book forever. I don't have much left, but been reading it for like a month or two by now. 
but it's just a really easy read and I like switch on and off with it like because it's three books in one so it gets a little bit repetitive sometimes so like when I feel like not thinking too hard I'll read this book because it's just easy to read and it's interesting so I'm gonna read that tonight and also I wanted to mention um in the mornings um like for the habit of like staying off my phone for 30 minutes after waking up um to show that I've just been like setting my timer for 30 minutes because I don't have a camera to like actually like film myself staying off my phone and like while the timer is going I'll just work out so that's like what I'm filming so I just thought I'd mention that because I feel like it could maybe be a little bit confusing Hey guys, so it's about 8.30 and I thought that I'd give you a little bit of an update about like what I'm doing. So I've already done quite a few things on my like healthy habits list. Um, I woke up at 7 and I stayed off my phone for 30 minutes. I worked out, filled up my water, I took a cold shower and actually the cold showers, while they're not fun, they're not as bad. Like the first day I pretty much couldn't breathe, like I thought I was like gonna die. But now they're like just something that I can't think about beforehand. And if you don't think about it, they're not too bad. So um, I'm glad for that. But I'm very excited to go back to my warm showers, I will say. I only have one more day of this, actually, and then I go back to the warm showers. Um, but I thought that I'd do my meditation and journaling now instead of later. I've been doing it in the afternoons, but I kind of feel like changing it up. I don't want to stay in the same routine, so I'm going to try that now. Plus, I feel like meditation especially and journaling is pretty good to do in the morning just because it gets you like prepared for the day and it's, I don't know, it's just kind of relaxing to do. that I actually ordered quite a while ago came today. So I'm gonna open this and put it on and see how it looks. This is the case. And it's really, really simple, which I'm very happy about because my other one was just a little too bright for me. So I just decided to go with beige, but I'm happy this came because my computer keeps getting really dusty and I, it, it really annoys me. Look how gorgeous it is. I'm way too excited about this. Also, speaking of computers, I am so tempted to get one of these like typewriter keyboards. They're so cool and they're like, I love the noises. So I am so tempted to get one, but they're expensive. But I, I know I'll end up getting one. I can't ever stop myself. Hey guys, so it's quite a bit later. It's 10.30 now. And I went, wow, I look really wild right now. My hair was in braids all day. Oh, wait, that's what I look like now. Gorgeous. Um, Wait a second, let me fix that. I kind of regret getting bangs. I knew I would. After a week, I'd regret it and I do. But um, I had to go to a Bible study tonight. I was there for, I think, an hour or an hour and a half. And um, on the way there, actually, um, I drove with Katie and her car started breaking and dying. Um, like it was grinding. And I don't know if it was the brakes or the wheel bearings, but we were going so slow on the way there. We got there like 30 minutes late and I'm surprised we didn't die. And then on the way back, something popped and I, I thought it was the wheel popping off, but we survived. So um, yeah, that was eventful. But got back, had dinner, and I think now that it's 10.30, I'm gonna read 
Um, I've been watching YouTube for a while. I think it's been probably an hour that I've just been watching YouTube. So not too productive, but you gotta have that sometimes. working out. It's a hole now. I almost stepped on it and I don't even know where it would have come from. It's weird. These showers just don't get any better. Hey guys, it's a bit later now. It's about four, I think. And um, I was gone. I was at Barnes and Noble, and then Katie and I had to look at an Airbnb and like give an estimate because we're cleaning it on Sunday. But of course, at Airbnb, not at Airbnb, at Barnes and Noble, I bought a book. And I even told myself not to get anything this time. I tell myself that every time and somehow I always end up with at least one book. Usually it's three, but today was one. Um, but it's called The Night Circus and I'm very excited because it's super good. I started it while I was there. So tonight that's what I'm going to be reading. Um, but right now I'm going to clean my room for 10 minutes because she's looking horrendous right now. It's like my desk is completely cluttered. And the annoying thing is I literally cleaned it two days ago. But I was in a huge rush this morning, which meant that I just threw everything everywhere and now I've got to clean it up, which is kind of sad, but I'm going to do that and then I'm going to journal because I can't journal when it's messy because it's just like, I don't know, I like the environment to be clean and stuff. So I'm going to do that and then check everything off. keeps turning off literally in the middle of videos oh my gosh i just got jump scared by a biker <laughs> anyway my phone keeps turning off just randomly and it's running out of storage so hopefully i can like get everything videoed because i have nothing else to record on so that's gonna be a problem for coming videos hopefully I can delete stuff <laughs> Um, a short like reflection about what I thought went well with the healthy habits and also what I thought I would like change if I did it again um, just as like kind of like a reflection of things so I have my healthy habits here I'm just gonna read through them and say like what I liked and disliked about them so um, first is waking up at a consistent time in the mornings and I thought this was pretty good to do um, and it was pretty easy because I usually wake up pretty early so like 7 wasn't a big stretch for me and obviously it depends on the person like when you wake up and like the consistent time that you choose but um, I also think like sometimes it's good to like sleep in or get up earlier um, because I know like one day this week, I forget which day, I wanted to get up a lot earlier but I was like well I should go and wait until 7 for the video um, which was fine but then also on Wednesday, I think it was Wednesday I was not feeling that great and I think it would have been nice to sleep in a little bit longer than seven just because I didn't sleep at all the night before and I was really tired and just not feeling great. So I think it's important to be like flexible with it and like just know how you feel and then go from there. Um, another one is don't go on your phone until 30 minutes after waking up. And I think that this one out of all of them is like one of the best ones to do. Um, because like for me personally, I tend to spend a lot of time on my phone, especially in the mornings when I wake up. Like I honestly have a habit of just scrolling on like social media or 
whatever in the mornings for like 30 minutes at a time and then I just kind of waste my day I guess um, because I feel like it's a lot easier to be productive when you just like get out of bed and do something and like get started with your day you just get a lot more done um, and also I think there's like I saw that there's a study or something where it's like the first thing you do in the morning when you wake up is like what your brain craves so like if you like the first thing you do is go on your phone your brain is gonna want to go on the phone for the rest of the day so there's that too so I definitely think that this was one of the best ones for me. Um, another one was to make your bed in the morning. And I also really liked this one. I usually do this anyway, so it wasn't much of a change. Um, just because I think when you make your bed, you get like something done and accomplished. And it's a lot easier to do other things because it's just like, I, I tend to like make um, to-do lists either the night before or the morning of. And so when I make my bed, I usually put that on my to-do list and it's like the first thing I cross off. And then I like feel a bit better if I have a lot to do that day just because that's like just one thing crossed off. Um, so I really do recommend making your bed in the morning. Another one is meditating or like I put taking a moment to yourself. I did the meditating um, off of like YouTube videos and like guided videos. And the first day I was like kind of like it was awkward to do especially like when I'm filming it just because it's like I don't know it's weird to film yourself just like sitting still and not doing anything besides like thinking and meditating um but I did like it it was weird at first but like after the first day I found a video that I liked and I just play that and I'd honestly just zone out I would not listen to the video I just like zone out and relax and that was pretty nice actually um but I think also you don't have to do like meditation you can do anything really just like taking a moment to yourself um, maybe just like listening to some music and just like doing something creative or whatever you'd like to do I think that's also a good way to just like take a step back sometimes and like if you're really busy it could be nice to do that so yeah I don't think it necessarily has to be meditation and I don't know if I'll continue doing meditation after filming this video just because it was another thing to do and I honestly I have other ways that I like take time for myself so I don't know but like if I'm stressed out I think that is something that I would really like benefit from um, another one is journaling and I'm all for journaling I really liked it uh, because usually I like journal once a month or I'll like go crazy and journal a couple days and then stop I'm like really sporadic with it but I thought it was nice to like do it every day Although it is kind of hard to come up with things to write about sometimes, I was just doing like what I would do in my day. So um, the day that I did it in the morning was kind of hard to write about because I like had nothing done yet really. So I was just like writing about what I would do. So um, yeah, I think it's definitely a good thing to do um, just to like improve your writing skills even or just like get your thoughts out too. I think that that's like one of the main reasons I journal because it's just a way for me to like um, get my thoughts out or even like when I was younger I would just vent when I would write so that's just how I usually express my thoughts I guess um, another one was movement and for movement I worked out in the morning you could also just do anything really like take walk or something um, but I think that this is a really good thing to do also I really liked doing it although super sore now but um, I think I'm gonna continue doing this or at least like try to Obviously, like, don't do it every day. Like, take some time off during the week, like a day or two. Um, so I think, like, four or five days a week or, like, however many, like, you are good with, I guess. Like, you just kind of have to listen to yourself, I guess. But, um, yeah, I really liked it because I have a tendency to, like, say that I'm going to work out and then I just, like, don't. And I just, like, forget about it or I just decide that I really don't want to. But... I thought that it was good to kind of like force myself to get up and move and when you do work out for me I was doing it in the mornings just because that's like the best time for me to work out but um, it you feel good for the rest of the day I guess so I would recommend that um, cold showers awful I literally see no benefit from cold showers because like one of the main things was like oh they'll wake you up and they're great for that but I honestly get just as like awake from hot showers so I don't see the point of cold showers I saw no improvement or like benefit um, except that I'd be cold for the whole day like I guess if it's gonna be like a hundred degrees out maybe a cold shower would be nice but um, for me it was just not not a time I'd be literally like 
cold the whole day afterwards and I would not look forward to my showers and I kind of like to take showers and let's like look forward to them so definitely won't be doing that in the future and I would not do that again um, so I'm very excited to take a hot shower tomorrow um, drinking two liters of water a day this is actually really good to do I realized the first day of doing this like healthy habit routine that I do not drink enough water I like struggle to get through one liter so that kind of like opened my eyes I guess and um, like after the first day it was so much easier to actually drink two liters um, like I think it was a couple days ago like Wednesday or Thursday um, that I drank two liters and I it was only like mid-afternoon so I had actually a full other liter um, which is like a big improvement from like not drinking any water and I think it helps to like fill up my water bottle which you can see back there um, because like when I actually fill it up it's like next to me and I see it and I like remember to drink water because sometimes I'll just forget um, if I don't have a water bottle and I'm just like drinking randomly like glasses of water so I think filming filming filling up a water bottle is kind of e makes it easier to do and just like doing it I guess sometimes you don't want to drink it but you just have to um doing 10 minutes of cleaning now I think that this is pretty good um I don't know if I'll continue it just because I tend to like I like I clean at one time like a deep clean but I thought that doing it for 10 minutes a day for me was actually pretty good because my room gets super dusty and my desk gets super cluttered. So it's kind of nice to like sit down or not sit down, but like actually do my cleaning and just like dust everything and get it tidied up again. Um, just because it's easier for me to like do things and think when my room is cleaner. I don't know why, but it just like clears my mind, I guess. Um, so yeah, I would, I would continue doing it. Although sometimes, like I said, I do like to just like do a deep clean. Um, and then last but not least is reading before bed and yeah I love doing this like I love to read so it wasn't um, that hard I usually though like I will go on my phone before bed which is a really bad habit so it was nice to like actually read and then go to bed and I think it like improves your sleep too um, but yeah I really do like to read before bed Although, like, sometimes, like, when you're obligated and you feel like you have to check it off a list, like, for me, like, doing the healthy habit of reading, I don't look forward to it as much as I would just, like, deciding to read at night. Um, I don't really know how to explain it, but I don't know. Like, I didn't read as much and I didn't look forward to it as much when I was, like, checking it off a list. So, um, yeah. I mean, I'll continue to read before bed because that's what I like to do, but um, that's just something that I noticed. And also, like, sometimes um, when I'm reading before bed, I'll get so caught up in reading that I'll, like, stay up accidentally a lot later than I wanted to. So that's another thing to keep in mind. But overall, I love to read before bed. And that's everything on the list, actually. Overall, I would recommend it. But obviously, just, like, be flexible. And I think, like, sometimes you get so in the habit of, like, you have to be productive and check everything off the list that it gets to be unhealthy, I guess. So just, like... Be aware of like your limits. I'll probably keep up a lot of these habits and also drop a few cold showers. I'm done with those. I'm never doing one again. Um, but yeah, that's I think that's the end of the video actually. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, and if you want, subscribe um, just so you guys can stay up to date on all of my videos. Plus, I love it when I get a subscriber. It's always so exciting. Like, I don't know. It's, it kind of makes my day when I get a subscriber. So. Um, yeah, thank you guys for watching, and um, be back next week with another video. I don't know what I'm going to film, because I procrastinate, and it's already Friday, so I have to figure out what I'm going to do, but I think I might do a weekend vlog or something, but anyway, um, thank you guys for watching, like I said, like three times already, and I'll see you next week.